Hey guys, I'm Arshof. This is Blaze the Movement and welcome to our Christmas themed project of 2021. This time, I will be reviewing one of the earliest Simpsons episodes, aka the episode Simpsons Roasting on an Open Fire. So, without further ado, let's dive in. Now, this episode doesn't start with a usual intro. In fact, it's not part of it at fucking all. There isn't even a couch gag or text to the cardboard. It's just some fucking Christmas music at the top of a title card. And you know what? I don't find it at all. In fact, I think the song is fucking awesome and fitting 100% for Christmas. The way to go. Not a school play. While Homer is trying to take a seat, he's rude to everyone there. Which, honestly, I really don't mind. I find it funny as hell. And then comes Lisa's class, and the students there play as different Santas from different cultures. The Icelandic Santas don't appear there at all. Which, to be fair, I don't blame them for. I consider the Icelandic Santas insignificant too. There are a bunch of ruthless criminals and overall just terrible people. Seriously, fuck them. There's no wonder they aren't shown there. After that, it's time for Bart's class to perform. Dancing through the snow, in a one-horse open sleigh, o'er the fields we go, laughing all the way, ha ha ha, bells on bobtail ring, making sure it's Isn't Bart sweet, Homer? He sings like an angel. Oh, jingle bells, Batman smells, Robin lays an egg, the Batmobile broke his wheel, the Joker got a wh- Seeing Bart interrupting the song like that is funny as hell. Now don't get me wrong, the scene wouldn't be bad if he didn't do that. Hell, it would still be wonderful and charming. But him interrupting the song like that makes this normal scene even fucking better. Bart is a true fucking genius here. Oh, and I also absolutely fucking love Homer's reaction here. It's fucking priceless. And then later on, Homer is bored out of his mind since there are so many fucking classes in the school, which is understandable. And then Marge is making a very special letter. Mm, a, a pony? Oh, Lisa, you've asked for that for the last three years, and I keep telling you Santa can't fit a pony into a sleigh. Can't you take a hint? But I really want a pony and I've been really, really good this year. Little do they know that Lisa will actually get a fucking pony two seasons later. Maybe Bart is a little more realistic. A tattoo? A what? Yeah, they're cool and they last the rest of your life. You will not be getting a tattoo for Christmas. Yeah, if you want one, you'll have to pay for it out of your own allowance. All right! Homer! Normally, I'm not on Marge's side at all. I think she's one of the dumbest characters of the show, and she normally doesn't know what the hell she is talking about. But in this case, I'm on her side 100%. Art is clearly too fucking on to have a tattoo. Now, I understand that it's normal for children to want something that only adults can have, thanks Benghazi is cool. But yeah, Marge is in the right to say absolutely fucking not. But unfortunately, Homer ruins it by telling Bart that he has to get it from his own allowance. Which means he's fucking allowing it. I know that Homer is totally doing it by accident, but he should be more careful about what he says. Hello? Hello, Marge. It's Patty. Selma and I couldn't be more excited about seeing our baby sister for Christmas Eve. Well, Homer and I are looking forward to your visit, too. <coughs> Somehow I doubt that Homer is excited. Of all the men you could have married, I don't know why you picked one who's always so rude to us. You're not the one to fucking talk. You two are rude to Hobart all the fucking time. So you shouldn't be the one talking. Now, Homer tries to put his Christmas lights on, which are around the house, but they don't work at all and they blink and only a few of them do. But the rest don't turn on at all. I feel sorry for Hobart, I really do. He worked so fucking hard on getting the Christmas lights ready and they don't work, the poor guy. Now Flanders puts his lights on and they work perfectly well. But Homer is bitter about it and is angry at Flanders. Now I understand that he is jealous, but there is no reason to be a dick towards Flanders for this. Why could not Homer just be fucking happy for him? That's what he should have done. I really don't understand why he has to be such a dick towards him. <laughs> Bart, that's so sweet. It's the best present a mother could get, and it makes you look so dangerous. 
That fantasy is entirely misleading. Marks clearly say to you that she doesn't fucking want to get a tattoo. So what the hell makes you think she would react like that? One mother, please. Wait a minute. How old are you? 21, sir. Get in a chair. I absolutely fucking love how this guy just accepts this at face value and doesn't question it. I mean seriously, Ben, you can clearly see that Bart is a fucking child. Why the hell are you accepting his claim that he is really 21 years old? You should be able to easily fucking tell that he is lying about his age. So why the hell do you accept his claim? Are you really that dumb? I must that bit. I do find it amusing. Meanwhile, back at the power plant, Homer finds out that there are no Christmas bonuses. Wow, that sucks. Poor Homer. And because of this, he screwed big time. I will be getting into why later on in this video. And we'll be talking about that when we get there. But mom, I thought you'd like it. No offense, Bart, but what the hell gave you that idea? She made it perfectly clear that she doesn't want you to have that fucking tattoo. Why aren't you listening? Now Martha has to pay for services to get the tattoo fucking off Bart. And unfortunately, it costs a shit ton of money. Unfortunately, Bart reveals the bad news that they're out of money in the jar. And at the top of that, Homer didn't get a Christmas bonus from work. Which means that the Simpsons family really is fucking poor during this Christmas season. Man, that really fucking sucks. And of course, Homer doesn't tell Marge that says he's afraid, which is understandable. And then after shopping, after Homer accidentally bumps into Flanders, those two have to pick up their items again. And of course, Flanders tries to be as nice as possible, but of course, as always, Homer has to be petty towards him. And I'm gonna tell you this right now. I never found it funny or amusing that Homer is a dick towards Ned Flanders for no reason. I always found it painful to watch. In fact, it is, in my opinion, the worst aspect of the show. I mean, seriously, the DM guy is trying his hardest to be a good friend and a neighbor. Flanders is a better neighbor than anyone can even dream of. So Homer should be fucking thankful instead of hating him for no reason. Yeah. I really don't like when Homer is a dick towards Flanders for no reason and it's no different here. Now at most tavern, Homer is very depressed. And since Bo is a good friend, he's of course very concerned about him. Yeah man, that's what true friends are for. Now Homer tries to apply for a job as a mall Santa. And he has to answer very tough questions. Unfortunately, he is fucking desperate. And he has to be dishonest in order to get the job. I feel bad for poor Homer, I really do. Homer, of course, has to go to a fucking class in order to be accepted at his new job as the mall Santa. And when he is tested, he loses his temper for a bit and screams at the teacher. I really fucking hope he will be able to succeed in that test because he desperately needs the fucking money. Anyway, after Homer gets back home, Bart and Lisa are very fucking happy to see him since Patty and Selma makes them feel uncomfortable. Honestly, I don't think they are bad people, they just have problems. And then, Homer chops down a tree with a chainsaw in a restricted area where he isn't allowed to trespass. Unfortunately, he's in a shit on a trouble and there is even a guy who's aiming to fucking shoot him. Damn! Now Homer comes back home with a Christmas tree and Patty and Selma of course have to trust talk him. Come on, give him a fucking slack already! He had to burst his ears off getting that tree. Give the guy a fucking break for once! Now, when Bart sits on Homer's lap, he pulls his fake beard off and realizes that it's actually Homer dressed as Santa. Now, Homer has a private conversation with Bart and explains to him that he is fucking desperate and needs money. That's why he is a mall center now. Honestly, it is understandable and Bart understands him too. You know, it's great how understanding Bart is here. It shows that he is a good son for sure. Mars doesn't know about this. It makes sense that he doesn't tell her so she doesn't want to worry her. But yeah, it's so nice of Bart to also keep that fucking secret and not tell anyone else. Again, he's a great fucking son. Homer couldn't have asked for a better one. Hey, little one, Santa's back. Ho, ho, yo! Damn it! Ah. This is very embarrassing and it's inappropriate to swear in front of children like that. Especially since you're supposed to be fucking Santa who's supposed to be a good jolly guy. To be fair though, I completely understand why Homer is acting that way. He's very fucking frustrated and is working his ears up so he can get good amount of money. I know it's not easy for him to get the money he should earn. 
The poor guy, I said it before and I'll say it again. I feel sorry for him, I really do. Though, I must admit, despite what I said, I still find the scene funny as hell. Especially when Homer says, damn it. Unfortunately, Homer only gets $13. Wow, all his hard work for nothing. There is barely anything he can even do with that fucking money. And that's just sad. Oh, come on, Dad. This can be the miracle that saves the Simpsons Christmas. If TV has taught me anything, it's that miracles always happen to poor kids at Christmas. It happened to Tiny Tim, it happened to Charlie Brown, it happened to the Smurfs, and it's gonna happen to us. Hold on. What episode of the Smurfs are you referencing exactly? Because I have seen the entire fucking show. And I still don't recall that episode of the Smurfs. Now to be fair, I'm not saying that Bart is lying here. Hell, I don't even think the writers of this episode gave misinformation on purpose. But I just don't recall a Smurfs episode that fits this description. Maybe it does exist and just overlooked it. I don't fucking know, that's a possibility. And also, the Smurfs are not poor people at all. In fact, they aren't even fucking people. They're little blue creatures that don't need fucking money. And they also have everything they need, so they're far from fucking poor. Now later on at a dog racing track, Homer fucking bats on Santa's little helper, so we can hopefully get a lot of money. It's almost nine o'clock. Where is Homer anyway? It's so typical of the big doofus to spoil it all. What, Aunt Patty? No, oh, nothing, dear. I'm just trashing your father. Well, I wish you wouldn't, because aside from the fact that he has the same frailties as all human beings, he's the only father I have. Therefore, he is my model of manhood, and my estimation of him will govern the prospects of my adult relationships. So I hope you bear in mind that any knock at him is a knock at me, and I am far too young to defend myself against such onslaughts. Mm-hmm. Go watch your cartoon show, dear. Wow, I love how she doesn't care in the slightest what Lisa is trying to tell her. You know, Lisa is right. It really is unwarranted how much those two trash talk Homer. And they should care about not hurting the feelings of his children. It's downright nasty how much those fucking trash talk Homer. And it makes it even worse that they don't care in the fucking slightest if it makes his children feel uncomfortable. Now, I don't hate Patty and Selma's characters, not by fucking long shot. But how they treat Homer is beyond nasty, let's just say that. Anyway, back to the plot with Homer and Bart. As it turns out, Homer did a big fucking mistake by making that bet. Since Santa's little helper is a lousy loser and doesn't fight come in last fucking place. Wow, Homer really is screwed, isn't he? I said it before, but it's worth repeating. I feel sorry for Homer, I really do. Now Homer decides that he doesn't want to leave until Santa's little helper finishes. But then, barely a second later, he says, fuck it, let's get out of here. Which makes sense as it's taking him too damn long. Now Homer tries to find notes on the ground which he can use to get some money. Well, okay, even if he does find some notes, what the hell help would that do? The race is already fucking over, so I don't think it would help him at all. And then, Barney forces it to Homer's face that he won the bet. Yeah, not gonna lie, that is a very dick move. Now I appreciate him trying to help Homer out earlier on in this episode. But Barney should know that Homer feels fucking miserable and thinks that his Christmas is ruined. So forcing it into his face like that, yeah, that is a very dick move on Barney's part, not gonna lie. He might have tried to cheer him up earlier on in the episode, but that doesn't make up for how he's a complete dick here. Unfortunately, Santa Little's helper's owner tells him to get the fuck out. So, the poor dog doesn't have an owner anymore. Now, Santa Little's helper goes towards Homer and Bart asks if they can keep him. He says no at first, but quickly changes his mind when he starts feeling sorry for Santa's little helper. You know, this is actually a very fucking charming moment. I like how Homer's heart is in the right place. Now Homer comes back home with the bad news. Or at the very least, he's about to tell the family the bad news. And he's about to reveal the truth of what really happened. But Bart fucking interrupts him and tells the rest of the family that they now have a dog and he brings the dog as well. And Bart is totally fine with that and the rest of the family is happy about that too and think it's nice of Homer to bring him to the home so he has a good home now. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. This isn't exactly the best Christmas ever, especially since they don't have 
many good presents. But hey, at the very least, it's this better than nothing. It's still a pretty decent way to celebrate Christmas. And the episode ends with a fucking wonderful looking Christmas photo. Now it's time for my overall thoughts. This is not my favorite Christmas related Simpsons episode. That would be Grift of the Maki. But it's definitely on my top five for sure. It sucks that Homer has to deal with so many bad situations, but he tries to make best of it. And this episode really shows that he cares about his family and wants his family to have great Christmas, which is charming. And the ending of the episode when they take a new dog home is fucking wonderful. And what's even better is that dog becomes a major character for the rest of the series. So overall, this episode is a fucking Christmas classic. And for that, I'm of course going to give it the rating two thumbs up. Well, guys, we've reached the end of the video. Thank you all for watching. You have a fantastic day.